Lads back. <laughs> you know, early, you know, know why the way he makes it his give us a chance. <laughs> I got, Look at me. Where I got the rider. Oh, yes. Oh, Literally this? says to me I won't pay if I'm going to appear on camera. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Look at the delight on that face there. Hang on. The man from Royal Melbourne is back. <laughs> The P770s are an evolution of the P790s, and it's time for a head-to-head. -head. And I know Lewis is just the man for the job. I think these are going to be immensely popular. So do I. But, I'm going to ask you one question. Would you swap your P790s for the P770s? You said to me last week, you get a bit of stick for using P790s. What does that, why? I don't get that. Yeah, I think it's more of a, it's more, qu people question why I use them, which, you know, because, because you're a pro you mean because, yeah absolutely that's the reason is people say what do you use you know when i'm giving lessons when i'm giving custom fits i use p790s you know i've used them for a long time and i use them because they're the best for me yeah yeah that's as long and short of it i, I can use blades you know i've got a set of strix and blades which yeah are, um but i like them because the performance with them is the best and i think that's the key isn't it yeah, so so today We've got P770s, which is, the, the, you know, so I've, I've specifically got you down. P770 versus P790, you're the perfect yeah. man to do the job. Yeah. And I've also brought down the other two clubs that have been brought out by TaylorMade at the same time, because we're going to throw them into the equation at the end. Yeah, definitely. Um, because I'm a previous tour preferred MC TaylorMade iron player, which would be the sort of middle one. So I used to play those, and I'll play 790. Um, they've brought out this kind of in the middle and then they've got the new blade which you know going back to your question would be why don't I play the blade it's always a, well like, you're a pro yeah you play a blade it's an assumption why don't you play a blade yeah um, and my opinion my, my sort of answer is always performance yeah so um, well that's what I need to see really today interesting because yeah shelf appeal yeah it's a good looking club isn't it I want to try all these yeah yeah, yeah. I, would, looking uh, good. I would pick them all up and say they're good looking and yeah. first opinions on the P770, as I know we showed you a couple of days ago, your opinion on P770 against the P790, what do you think at the minute? Um, obviously a better look. Yeah. You know, we've not, I've hit a few shots and I do like the look of it behind the ball. That yeah. is the one thing that I would say is I've got used to the way they look yeah. behind the ball. They are a bit bigger. That's the one reason I wanted to try them is can I get the same performance with something that is smaller in the head? A little bit more um, compact. Yeah, that's it. Or, or should I be going back to something more like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh... Okay. Right, well, we're on the, uh, we've, well, like I said, we've hit a few balls. We're on the, uh, what all is this, 13? 13. And you're going to hit 7 iron? I am. So. Oh, I've got on the top tier as well. Yeah, perfect distance control. How does that feel? Per, you know, it, as I'd expect, it's very, very similar to what I've is got. Is it? That's it's the first question. Very, I was going to ask you, how similar. does it differ? Yeah, it's very similar. You can tell it's not a solid construction. You know, yeah. We've got the seven iron, so it's got the slot. You know, it's hollowed body. Yeah. And I can tell that when that's yeah, the yeah. difference, isn't it? Um, but the distance is, you know, I think it's about 170 this old, you know, and I've got it to the top tier. That's bang it's on your number exactly, probably. I would seven hit eight. seven iron eight all the time, and that would be my worry is, am I just going, am I, would I swap to these for looks? Yeah. Or am I swapping? You don't want to compromise performance, do you? Absolutely Nobody does. Not. No, no. You couldn't have asked for a better comparison, could you? No, it's spot on, to be fair. Exactly what I'd expect to see with this is, I've hit them both solid, 
I've hit the, the wind just took them about five yards to the right. Yeah. But they're still on, both, both on the ground. Yeah, yeah. One of them's made it to the top tier. Yeah. And one of them hasn't. Yeah. Love the look of these, you know. You love the look of the. I love the look. See, of these. they're my least favourite to look at, but my review of these went out last night. All three. Yeah, yeah. So I can now say that, in terms of performance, that was my biggest surprise. Yeah. Because I went out there again. It's a bad thing, but looks are uh, you know you do judge yeah, it, yeah, yeah. you know. And the MB is my favourite to look at. So I'm like, I want to play well with the MB, and that was my least favourite. But that was the biggest surprise to me. But I won't tell you why you hit them and see what you think. Solid. Great strike. Bullet straight. It didn't seem to move a lot from it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that's a, that's a good. Throw, it's a good. Uh, you could throw a blanket over there. Yeah, yeah. And again, the interesting thing will be, you know, honest, I think in terms of loft, they've probably travelled exactly where the difference in loft yeah, would take be. them to. Did you notice know, any difference in ball flight between the three? No. All seem to. They both start at the pin. It's a little bit of breeze this way. Well, in terms of peak height or anything, launch similar? No, no they launch similar. While Lewis continued to put the 770s through its paces, while I continued my love affair with the MB. Solid ball. Middle of the green. Yeah. Sat down nice, didn't it? Yeah. Perfect, just where I'm in the middle of the green on it, yeah. isn't it? So. I mean, I'm not going to mention it, but again, like I said, we've always had the sort of spin obsessed who talk about strong lofted clubs and they don't grip. I always say, and again, that's playing downwind, don't forget, slight bit of down breeze on a Lynx track. That's pitched yeah. and stopped. I've yeah. never had a problem with those no, clubs not no. stopping, ever. So we're on to the, the 770. Almost identical in terms of ball flight. Pitched and gripped. Can you see them? Yep. There we've got go. the camera at the back of the green, so we both, we've we've all seen them, mate. There you go. <laughs> what won't you want? There's nothing between them, other than these are a bit smaller and they look better. The idea of those was they made something sort of compact. Yeah. With a sort of a, an enclosed back to look like a blade, but yeah. perform like a game improvement e yeah, yeah. iron. <laughs> But these look more like players like players like yeah so you're like going to get the, the bottom line is you by putting them in the bag you're going to get less stick <laughs> probably not it does <laughs> probably not just going to get just as much stick for not playing one of the other two but so I'm, going to, I'm going to i'm going to finish off with one question because i will let a couple more balls because like i said this has been more about you today than me but i'm going to ask you one question would you swap your P790s for the P770s. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you just because you know I don't swap gear. I don't. I'm not. No, a big, you've been on I'm their minds. I'm not a big person for swapping gear, but uh, I think these have got a chance. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Again, middle of the green. It's gonna be. Well, there's a little bit of backspin on that even. So that's mine you've got there, isn't that's it? That's your club, which again I've always I've always enjoyed. I mean, I had the P790s in the um, in the Long Ryans when they first came out a couple of years ago. Uh, so I, I, I like the club. I'm a fan and of the club. That, that was always a thing with you, wasn't it? Is you know even me using the shorter irons, you didn't use the shorter irons because no. of the look of them. Yeah. You know, um how you know in terms they, of the nine iron they perform great they perform they? fantastic yeah. yeah i mean i i personally and i've said it in the past is that there's three irons that have uh done incredibly well we're doing a tailor-made review right now so we'll stick to their stuff but uh i think the p790s was a game changer in terms of yeah. uh, iron manufacturing yeah. 
that's pure again down the middle that is quality sit oh you can't see that we'll i mean they are right in the middle i personally think genuinely i think they're better feeling and better sounding now i don't know whether the strike wasn't as good with the the the, the first club but i think there's a noticeable difference there for me and like I said, it should be me that's on the P790s again, but the, the, the way that looks, the more compact head shape, I think you should change. <laughs> I think they're absolutely, they take some beating, they do. Yeah. For, you I, know, ticket, ticket I all boxes. Gone, I, I think because they're, they're, quite, they're quite striking, we were, we were a little bit sort of drawn in by the looks. Yeah. But the more we hit them, you know, when we've got all the products out there in terms of the new 7, the 770s are the ones we're kind of, Oh, it, 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 it ticks all the boxes, do you know what I mean? I've got one final question, and it is, would you consider a combination set? Because I think that's going to be a big thing for Taylor May with this P-Series this year. Now I would. Yeah. Before, I could, and I never could with the 790, because they were too powerful. Yeah. Um, there was nothing in the same league yeah. in terms of performance. But now I think, whether it be 790 in the long iron, 770 in the shorter, yeah. or 770 in the longer, and MC, yeah. or, or even MD. a full blade. Because yeah. the performance is great with them all, and I think they brought them closer together. Well, I think they brought them closer together looks-wise as well. The thing I said in my initial video of the sort of overview of them all was the fact that you can now sit a, an MB down, then you go and grab in your 9 iron, you can grab your 5 iron in your 770, yeah. and you're not seeing two different clubs from above. Yeah. I think that's a way, you know, other manufacturers are going but it's never been an option tailor made until now yeah which I agree. Would be a massive positive so it's something i will consider probably that's it mate we're done massive thumbs up from louis i think on that yeah, one yeah yeah really positive on the irons really good